If you ever look at a list of the world's most dangerous sports, you'll find that mountain climbing ranks among the most perilous. Those passionate about this hobby must possess courage, physical fitness, and remarkable endurance. This necessity arises, of course, from the challenging nature of the terrain, which only becomes more difficult with increasing altitude, such as steep mountain slopes and decreasing temperatures. As we ascend higher, the atmospheric pressure decreases, making breathing progressively more difficult. This leads to weakened muscles and movement challenges. However, what's astonishing is that despite these hardships, for some animals, these daunting heights are just part of their daily routine. Hello, and welcome to a new video. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can receive our videos right away. In the Himalayas, starting from an elevation of 1,200 meters above sea level, lives a species of mammal called the markhor. It belongs to the goat family, but is considered the largest of the wild goats in terms of size. It ranges from 130 centimeters to 185 centimeters in length from head to tail, with a shoulder height of up to 115 centimeters when standing. The markhor is particularly distinguished from other goats by its famous spiral horns, which can alone reach more than one and a half meters in length. This is the primary reason for its unusual name. Markhor is a Persian word meaning snake eater, a name given because people in the past thought its coiled horns resembled snakes, suggesting a relationship with serpents. It was believed that they could kill snakes with these horns and even consume them. Of course, we need not say that these are myths without any evidence, as the markhor, like other herbivores, primarily relies on plants and grass for its diet. However, some researchers believe that its association with snakes in people's minds might be due to its ability to easily kill them with its sturdy hooves. The broad hooves at the end of its feet, which the markhor uses not only for self-defense, are also crucial for balance and smooth navigation through the rough terrains of its habitat. These hooves enable it to climb mountains reaching elevations of up to 4,000 meters above sea level in search of food, which also becomes easier for it. The markhor can leap to heights of one and a half meters, which is why it's widespread across the Himalayan mountain ranges in Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Northern India. In fact, it is considered the national animal of Pakistan. Due to the harsh climatic nature of the markhor's habitat, it has a body fully covered with fine and dense hair, which becomes even thicker in winter to protect against the cold and maintain its body temperature. However, because of these distinctive qualities, it has become highly sought after by humans, who hunt it for its fur, horns, and hooves, and then consume its meat. Despite the illegality of hunting in some countries, there are still those who choose to break these laws. In the mountain ranges of the Rockies and Alaska in North America, lives one of the most skilled climbers in the animal kingdom, the mountain goat. Despite its name, the mountain goat is not actually a goat, but closer to the deer family, to the extent that it's sometimes referred to as the goat antelope. The mountain goat is a herbivore, primarily feeding on mountain plants and grasses. These plants are not only rare and difficult to access, but they also lack sufficient minerals and salts needed by the goat's body. Therefore, the mountain goat has to derive minerals from sources other than plants. In an environment like that of the mountain goat, the only sources of salts are the crevices and cracks in rocks, where salt crystals accumulate from salt-laden winds. Thus, the mountain goat is often seen climbing mountains and licking these rock formations. Remarkably, it can effortlessly scale steep cliffs as if defying gravity, reaching altitudes of more than 4,000 meters above sea level. What aids in this remarkable ability are its cloven hooves, which allow it to stand on the edges of rocks and move between slopes with ease and balance. Additionally, its strong and agile body, ranging in length from 120 centimeters to 180 centimeters from head to tail, and a shoulder height of about one meter when standing, contributes to its impressive physical fitness. This fitness enables the mountain goat 
to jump distances of up to four meters. The mountain goat doesn't just climb these daunting heights for salts alone. Females also utilize these high elevations for birthing. In the cold icy regions of China, specifically in the Tibetan area, lives the wild donkey known as Qiang, which is considered the largest type of wild donkey in the world. It can reach a length of two meters and a shoulder height of about one and a half meters. What distinguishes the Qiang from other types of donkeys is the thick brown hair covering its entire body, which changes in color and density with the seasons. For example, in the summer, its coat is light brown, short and thin, but with the onset of winter, its color darkens and its density increases to protect the donkey from the low temperatures. Because it lives at altitudes ranging from 4,000 meters to 7,000 meters above sea level, not only does the Qiang's fur change in preparation for winter, but its body weight also increases by about 50 kilograms to provide energy during periods when food is scarce due to the rarity of plants. Additionally, the Qiang is a nocturnal animal, meaning it searches for its food more at night than during the day. Due to the harsh weather conditions in its habitat, it is difficult for the Qiang to find potable water, so it relies on plants as a source of both food and water. In order to find sufficient water-rich plants, it sometimes has to travel very long distances. Although typically a solitary animal, Qiangs gather in small herds during these journeys to protect each other from their only predator, the wolf. The nests of the bearded vulture, or lammergeier, hold the record for being the highest nests of any bird in the world, reaching a size of one full meter. These birds continue to build their nests for a continuous hundred days choosing locations on the edges of mountains, caves, and rocky outcrops at altitudes of over 5,000 meters above sea level to ensure that no other predators can reach their young. This high altitude also helps them find suitable food for their chicks, because although the bearded vulture primarily feeds on the bones of dead animals, accounting for 90% of its diet, the young in the first few months of their life need to be fed meat. At such high elevations, it's easier to find many dead animals that couldn't withstand the low temperatures or the scarcity of oxygen. The bearded vulture has been observed flying at altitudes of up to 7,300 meters above sea level, utilizing these great heights to drop large bones onto rocks to break them and make them edible. Since high altitudes are crucial for the life of the bearded vulture, it can be found in Europe starting from the highlands of Spain in the southwest of the continent across the Alps, and in Asia. It is present in the Himalayas in India, up to central and southern China. It also inhabits the Atlas Mountains in Algeria and Morocco, the highlands of Ethiopia, and the Arabian Peninsula. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button.